Hey, this is Pastor Cross White with Believers Life Ministries. I uh, wanted to be able to share a particular word with you today uh, that has been just really welling up in my spirit. I haven't been able to shake it or get, get rid of it. Uh, and it actually has to do with a particular word. I'm, I mean, literally, there's a word from the Lord, but also there's a there's an English word that has not let me go this week uh, that, that just keeps coming back. And, and uh, I want to be able to share that with you today. Um, there's a word in the English language called equifinality. It is the principle that, that uh, in an open environment, in an open system, there are many ways to get to the end state. And when I begin to think about that word, uh, and and dwell on the meaning uh, and when it was particularly shared with me uh, I began to think that that it, and to understand that there are so many ways for us to reach Christ um, I want to clarify and say this one thing uh, there is only one way to get to heaven there's only one way to to repair the breach that is between us and God and that is Jesus Christ there's there is only one way into heaven that is through the blood of Jesus Christ. That there is only one way to come into the presence of God, and that is through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. But there are many ways to come to know who Christ is. Um, my path to come to know who Christ is is so much different than that of my wife or or my even my children. Uh, my path to, to come to Christ is so much different than your path or 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 your grandmother's path or or your mother's path or your father's path uh your grandfather's path because all of our paths uh to come to Christ have have been directed by the environment the the situations the the outcomes the 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 issues that have arisen in in our lives and so when i began to think about that word equifinality it really uh really conjures up the image and really conjures up the 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 idea that that so many of us in life uh, uh, are trying to reach the same end point, which is knowing God and understanding who he is. Uh, but, but all of our paths, we all have different roads that we go down. Um, you know, when I, I was, I was mapping out something the other day, uh, trying to get from one location to another. And I was using uh, Google maps. They, and, and their new functionality inside of their maps program is that, is that it shows you multiple paths how to, in order to get to your end place. Uh, and, and I began to think to myself, you know, really, that, that is what equifinality is. It just kept coming back up all week long. And, and I began to think inside of the Word of God how, how inside of the Word of God it's the same way. Uh, you, you have a man uh, at the gate called Beautiful who's, who's a beggar, who's, who's been sitting there begging uh, all of his life because he's lame, because he, his legs won't work, because he, he has a physical impairment. Uh, and, and when Paul, uh, uh, I'm sorry, when Peter, uh, Peter comes across this man, when Peter and John come to this man as they're going into the temple, uh, they, they tell him, look, silver and gold I have ye not, but what I do have is, is Jesus Christ, and let me give you Jesus Christ. And, and when he lays hands on this man, the man gets up and and, and leaps and jumps and runs and celebrates the fact that now he knows who Jesus is. He knows the power of Christ. He knows the glory of Christ. He knows uh, that something in his life has has changed dynamically. And so now, now he he understands. He understands. He understands God. He understands Jesus. He he begins to to want to dwell more in His presence. And but his path to come to Christ is so much different than the woman at the well. You remember, there's a Samaritan woman that 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 comes to the well where Jesus is seated and at 12 noon, high noon, she comes to the well because because she's been embarrassed by, by her actions and by her, the life that she's been living in. And, and on top of that, she's a Samaritan woman. And she comes to the well. And as she is talking with Christ, she says, look, why are you even talking to me? Well, don't you realize that the Jews don't even deal with the Samaritans? You, you don't even, we don't even worship the same way. And Jesus says, says look, you, you don't even understand real worship. He says, he says, look, I ask you for a drink. But if you had asked me for a drink, I would have given you living water. And he, he begins to prophesy to her and he says, look, uh, uh, are you married? And she says, no. He says, but but you got a husband at home. And 
she begins to think about it. And he says, look, you've had a bunch of husbands. You, that's because you're a prostitute. You've, you've given yourself away to a bunch of different people, to a bunch of different men. Uh, and, and he says, look, don't you realize that you don't have to live that way anymore, that you can live a life of purity. You can live a life of completeness. You can live a life of, of wholeness inside of what I have to give you. And so her path to come to know who Jesus is is so much different than that man at the gate called Beautiful. <coughs> her path her path is even different than the other woman who who came to know who Jesus was. You know, the woman who had an issue of blood, uh, who who just has to do, who just figures if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I'll be made whole. And so her path, her her path to come to know uh, Jesus Christ is different than the woman at the uh, the woman who has who who has many husbands who who's been living as a prostitute all her life. Her path is different. It, 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 all of our paths are different. Nicodemus's path is different than all of them because he is a, a Pharisee. He's a, he's a Pharisee. He's a priest a, a, in the temple of God. He and, he and he comes to know who Christ is in the midnight hour when he comes to, to, to try to get some things right in his heart and his mind and his head on, on who God really is. And, and he's known God, but now he has to come to know who Christ is who because Christ is the only way to really repair the breach. He, he is our Messiah. He is the one who's going to be able to get us in to the glory, the presence, and, and, and the, the, the wonder of who God really is. And so uh, so Nicodemus's path is different than the man at the gate called Beautiful's path, and and the man at the gate is different than the woman who at the well's path, and the woman at the well's path is different than the woman who had an issue of blood's path, because not all of us come to know Christ in the same way at the same time uh, in the. In, in, in our lives, we have to realize that that the road that we that leads us to God are so different. They're so different. But the most important thing is is that we come to know who Jesus is in our lives, so that we can get to the same end state, which is a, re a repaired relationship with G with 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 God. And so I, I you know I, I just want to encourage you today. <clears throat> know today that. No matter what you've been dealing with in life, no matter what issues of life you've had, <clears throat> no matter what what problems you faced, no matter what 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 evils you've done, no matter what 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 nastiness or mire you've been involved in, that you can still reach the point of knowing who Jesus Christ is. That's part of of the open state that we live in. That's part of the free will. You know, you've been given free will. That's an open state. And the open state is that it, it means that there are going to be so many different ways for you to move around in this life. But but I encourage you today as you move in this life that that you move as quickly as you possibly can towards Jesus Christ. Because as Messiah, as Savior, as, as, our, as our all and our everything, in order to repair the breach that we have between us and God is the most important thing. And so I, I encourage you today to realize that, you, that the same way that grandmother did it, you don't have to do it. The same way that your father did it, you don't have to do it. The same way that your mother did it, you don't have to do it. You don't have to come to Christ the same way. And then on top of that, you don't have to worship the same way they worship. Heck, you don't even have to worship at the same place. <laughs> I know that's difficult for some people to understand, but but we don't we 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 are not monolithic in our worship experiences. We're not monolithic in how we do 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 church. You know, one of the things that I learned a long time ago is that nowhere in the Bible does it tell us how to do church. There, there, there's no scripture. There's no scripture that says this is the way you're supposed to do church. This is the way you're supposed to do worship. This is the way you're supposed to do your service. There's no order of worship in the Bible anywhere. There, there are principles that we pull out to 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 set our 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 worships in 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 order. But but the truth of the matter is is that is that we can worship God any way. 
that are prescribed inside of that word. We can worship God in so many various ways. And that's important for us to be able to know because it's all about getting to that end state. God bless you. God keep you. God let his face shine upon you. And God bring you his peace. You have a wonderful day.